All right. You may not be aware of it. You may not know. But all of those other states that we've been doing, they've led up to this. Sure, there's a few more afterwards. And quite a few before this, just because that's how the alphabet works. But we finally made it to the best state. I think, meh, maybe the only best state because I live here. But where this is the one I probably know most about, <laughs> despite, but uh, just by default. <clears throat> So strap in. We're uh, going to talk about this quirky little state. I mean, maybe all the other ones were, and I just didn't have the chance to grow up and learn about the history there. But this is up there as far as unusual states. And potentially the highest, well, at least by default again, the highest chance of me actually getting probably a perfect score. But here we are. In the great, tiny little state, I immediately know where this is, of uh, Vermont. As you see here, it's in uh, New England. It is the only state in New England that's not on the ocean. You've got good old Canada to the north. To the west, you got New York. South Massachusetts to the east, New Hampshire. Its capital is uh, Montpellier, or Montpelier, if you're not French. I've never actually seen this merit popping up but largest city you got burlington over here on lake champlain which i believe is the sixth largest lake in the u.s and pardon me while i uh get ourselves perfectly centered here because i know exactly where this is we're on route seven um let's see here we're past that. Olive Garden, we're past that. Goss, where's the oil and go? We're right. Um, probably about here. Anyway, now that we got this, I'm going to go down uh, Shelburne Road here just to give you a little look at the main artery of the city. This is a very tiny, tiny state. It is the second least populated state in the uh, U.S. It is the Green Mountain State, which is where the name actually comes from. Vermont, one of the explorers of the region, Samuel D. Champlain, which Lake Champlain is named after, named the region that because of Green Mountains, Vermont. It was admitted to the Union on March 4th, 1791. It was the 14th colony to be admitted to the Union. I don't know if 13 original colonies ever actually pops out, or maybe you've heard it at some point, but <clears throat> that's what it's from. It'd be really cool if that station wagon actually had six wheels, but it does not. Um, it was uh, just like uh, four other states, uh, three other states. It was a sovereign state, as in it was its own country for a period of time. You've got. Uh, Texas, California, and Hawaii being the other three. But Vermont was a republic for a very short amount of time. Um, soon after the... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, excuse me. I'll just list it off here. Vermont Republic is a term used since the 20th century to refer to the Vermont, government of Vermont from 1777 to 1791. In January of 77. Delegates from 28 towns met and declared independence from the jurisdictions and land claims of the British colony of Quebec. And if you're unfamiliar, the British colony of Quebec is, the, well, this is modern day Quebec, this big chunk here. But uh, the British claim on the territory looked way different than this. Um, maybe take a step back. This region originally was Abenaki and Iroquois Native Americans. Then you had French trappers, British colonists, um, French explorers as well, usually coming down the St. Lawrence River into the uh, Richelieu River, which is right here, which connects uh, Lake Champlain to St. Lawrence and eventually 
out into the Atlantic. Um, it was uh, British. Oh, really, you're going to take six points off for that. Umbridge has been taken. I almost want to restart. Anyway, uh, this one's probably going to be much longer than all my other ones, so please bear with me. Um, I, I feel like I can actually maybe talk a bit more about this than I can some other <clears throat> states. Anyway, um, it became its own, claimed, declared independence, as well as from the U.S. states, New Hampshire and New York, because a lot of uh, col uh, colonial times in the U.S., they're... This little chunk of land didn't exist, and a lot of times New York kind of said, no, this is mine. New Hampshire said the same thing. Sometimes it was a weird, ambiguous split between the two, but this didn't exist until this Vermont Republic was formed. Uh, originally, it was called New Connecticut, just because uh, the Connecticut River, which is its eastern border, uh, I guess they were like, ah, we're going to call ourselves that. I mean, maybe New Connecticut was already taken. You could have probably thought of a better name. Um, let's see here. Anything else? Um, I mean, they had their own currency. It was called Vermont Coppers. And the, the head of government was called the governor. Let's see here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. It was a reluctant, reluctant republic because uh, many of the citizens wanted to be within the United States rather than full independence because um, arguably maybe it was a bit of a volatile time. To the north, you had a giant superpower in uh, um, England and, you know, the, Amer the Revolutionary War happened and they were like, eh, you know, it's great not being part of it, but there's a bit of, like, strength with having other being part of a bigger union I guess you could say than being its own state anyway yada 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 it because I've talked way too long on this um, uh, New York had some issues as far as figuring out how to do borders there was a compromise where Vermont government was going to pay $30,000 to all New Yorkers with claims and land in Vermont and as a counter to, I believe, Kentucky being admitted to the Union, um, Vermont was allowed to be a, a slave-free state. Anyway, enough of that. I babbled on far too long about that. Let's see if I can figure this one out. Uh, you can see the license plates. They're green with white lettering. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this one. This could be on many locations within the state. <clears throat> Hey, buddy. He's waving as we go. Everyone waves. They're so friendly. Um, let's continue with more of the basic information about the state. I'm going to try to see if I can't figure this out on this road here. We're going speed limit 25. We're about to go into a town. Or at least a speed trap. Anyways, I said capital is Montpelier. Largest city is Burlington. Um, total land area is... Uh, 9,600 square miles. Ooh, we do have a junction with Route 2. I believe that's up here, isn't it? Nope, Route 2 is right here. And we are at a junction of 215. So we're coming into probably Marshfield. Let's see if I can't get a uh, sign here. We've got Danville. I went to college. One of my roommates was from Dansville. Or Danville. Uh, let's see, St. Johnsbury, St. J is over here, Danville's there, you got Plainfield, and Montpelier, there's Plainfield, yeah, we're right here. Probably, we're going to hit home, because I want to see if we can't get a side road. What's up here? Road cone, we doing some construction? We got a dirt road here, well, kind of a private road, I think. Power plant road. Will that pop up on here? Maybe. Is that power plant road? We're apparently not going to find out. So I'm going to say we're like, uh, maybe here. Let me 
really need to find that uh, a road that I can <clears throat> compare this to. But we're not getting anything here. Come on. No, we're turning back this way. That's a bit too far. We're probably here. This doesn't say any power plant road. Okay, it does. So we're like right there then. Hitting home. We're going to click a little bit to see how far I got to go to see power plant road. A bit of a ways. I'm going to say there. Winooski, that's I believe Abnaki for onion. Anyway, we've got area ranked as 45th, smallest, well, it is a very small state, ranked 45th in the nation. You've got elevation, highest elevation is 4,395 feet, which is Mount Mansfield, which I hiked last week. Uh, lowest elevation is Lake Champlain, which is anywhere between 95 to 100 feet above sea level. Population is only 600. 23,000 people, 49th, like I said, smallest, second smallest state. Um, its median house, household income is $57,500, which makes it 28th, which is right in the middle. Um, and that is the basics, basically. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, I already talked about the etymology of where it came from. Let's see here. Geography, yes. it's It's got the Green Mountains, which are part of the Appalachian Mountains, which go right through the center of the state, right through here. You've got the Champlain Valley going right here. Let's see. Can I actually point out Mansfield without being dumb? There's Stowe, so it's... Yeah, it's right there. Again, barely off. Umbridge is taken. Um... Anecdotes. It's a very agricultural state. Uh, you've got the quote-unquote big cities with Burlington, and the 2010 census said there was 42,000 people living there. That's the largest one. The entire city itself can fit inside uh, Central Park in New York. Um, this one I might not get. This is a dirt road. There are many of these in the middle of the woods. If you've ever heard me talk about those... Uh, roads in Scandinavia that go through the woods. This is just like that, only they're dirt. Although this is a pretty good quality dirt road, so this one gets used quite a bit. There's different grades of dirt road, um, and I believe it's up to grade three or five you're not allowed to hunt on. Like, there's a big issue that uh, West County Road can we go up here? No. Let's see. This is common site people use. Road signs is uh, target practice, essentially. Man, I don't know if I'm going to get this one. This one might be bad. Um, but yeah, there's an issue with lazy hunters, so to speak. Um, they'll drive along dirt roads. They might see like a deer, turkey anything on the side of the road, and they'll just, like, park their car, lean the gun right on the, uh, their sill on their car door, and they'll just shoot. That's not legal. Um, they've, in fact, actually, I don't know how much they're used now. They used to put, like, little anim animatronic deer out, just maybe, like, here, this far out on the road, and they'll just sit there and videotape it and see if they can catch anybody trying to shoot a, uh, robotic deer anecdotal stories of people i know who are like wait i know that that's a animatronic deer and he would just he took his truck right off the road and just drove right into it it's i guess just a big fuck you even though i think he still ended up having to pay for it where is this this is a very populated dirt road so we're not that far off from a uh It's a nice house. Come on. Hmm. I feel we're getting close. Come on. Show yourself to me, Vermont. Although this getting a bit more dirt on this road. Let's see what this sign says. We've got 
something county road. I got a minute left. That's Worcester. Even though it says Worcester, that's Worcester Road. I, hmm, can I go? I guess I can't go that way. That's like a town hall there, I think. Yeah, that's a bit of a town hall, or at least it's the road closed. Well, shit. We're going to keep going. It's a nice, cute little house. We've got a pond over here. What is this? Welcome to what? Okay, this is Casella. Casella is a trash removal company for a certain section of the state, which is... Um, they're located out of Rutland, so... I'm going to say this might be Chittenden, just to put us somewhere, but... Again, I have no idea. I haven't seen anything to really tell me, but they, they also can go way down here. Maybe we'll say we're like in... No, this isn't Mount Holly, I don't think. No, we were north. Yeah, I wasn't going to get to Calais in time. Or Woodbury. That was a bad score, but, it, you know, in my own defense, that was a very hard one to locate with the information I had. Apparently we were near the Shaman's Flame. I did not know. Anyway, it's a tiny state. You've got... A lot of agriculture, dairy farms, uh, we're pretty, it's like, if you got to think of things that um, Vermont is known for, at least in public, recently you've got maple syrup, that's like our big thing, make a lot of that. I think I heard, like, originally how that came about was, um, I think it was in 1791, the book I was reading, or no, 1491, um, where they maybe think that... Uh, that is Camel's Hump, I believe, that mountain there, because there's very distinguished shapes the mountains have, which Mansfield, you can usually see right next to it. Anyway, sorry. They believe that maybe this guy was watching a, uh, like a squirrel or a chipmunk, like, bite, like a little hole into a tree, and this liquid would come out, and then they would just let it sit there, and then they would come back later, and they would just, like, eat it, or sip it, whatever you want to call it. Jersey Street South. I think this might be, like, in this area, around Charlotte, even though it says Charlotte, it's how it's pronounced. If you want to sound like a uh, local, you call it Charlotte. Thank you. Is this the skydiving thing? It is. All right. So, yeah, this is over here in this chunk of land. Route 7. Where's the bridge? Is this the bridge? That is not the bridge. Where's the, where's the bridge? Thompson's Point. No. Um, Ferrisburg South. Here's the bridge. We're over here in Addison somewhere. <laughs> Jersey Street Road. I'm going to hit home. Center ourselves. This is a dirt road. No, it's not. It's just a very unkempt road. Is this, uh, this might be Bridport, which is a very, uh, um, a lot of rich houses here. Anyway, things the state are known for. You got maple syrup, cabot cheese. That's like a big thing. Um, what else? Um, Politics. You've got Bernie Sanders, um, uh, independent senator who was once the mayor of the city of Burlington. Um, church Street. Let's look for a Church Street. So down here, Lake Basin Harbor Road. Basin Harbor was a pretty good little restaurant. Townline Road, Pheasant Goose Bay. No. Um, in Church Street, this has got to be down here somewhere. Tom Mill, Lower Snow, Middle Road. But I see Bernie all the time, actually, in my last apartment, um, where I was staying, the grocery store there. Go there all the time and I'd see him, but, you know, I just never really bothered him. I'm kind of like, if I see somebody famous, I'll just be like, oh, it's that guy. I won't go out of my way to be like, 
awesome. Uh, actually, that's not true. This was like years ago at this point uh, when MySpace still existed. I think we're down here. Unless West Addison, Lake Street. I can't find this one. I'm in the right area. But it's just it's just not not showing up here. Hmm. I'm gonna go that way. This is United Methodist Church of what? Uh West Addison. Alright, let's let's get ourselves situated. Ah, I ran out. I was gonna re-click over to here. Anyway, yeah, I'd see him all the time. You'd have like some handler. Um, I mean I moved last year so even when he was um like pushing hard for this candidacy in the previous one see him all the time i just wouldn't bother him um what else is the state known for i feel like i'm gonna miss things mentioning this um i mean there's a vermont curry i think it's called it's like this super popular instant curry that they sell in uh, Japan. And I think it's just like curry with like applesauce or apples or something. And it's not a flavor that exists whatsoever in the state itself. And I forget, I was reading a little article about how it came to in existence. But I don't remember. Oh, it's snowing. I miss snow. I miss this weather instead of this hot shit we got now. I mean, this is probably middle October, middle November. All the leaves are gone. That's another thing we're pretty well known for, I guess, is fall foliage season. When all the maple trees change their color of their leaves to reds, browns, golds. It's, it's quite the sight. This is a nice little pond with a house here. It is for sale. Jim Campbell, give him a call if you want it. This sign might help. Uh, what do we got? Clarbo Campground? Charbo, I have, I have no idea where that is. Although that road sign right there would probably tell me this route. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get up. No, it's not all right. Let's, let's stop bothering with that. I don't know what lake this is. I don't think it's uh, Lake Champlain. Or well, this could be Colchester, actually. Now that I think on it, a lot of it's getting a bit Lake Salem. I think that's just the. Uh, it's a thing people like to do is name their lake houses, which I think always think is kind of silly. But I mean, if you got money, you might as well. I think I think this is. Colchester. I'm going to click a little farther to see if I can't verify this myself. Um, this is, wow, you got a lot of, you really love your golden retriever. <laughs> um, okay, maybe this isn't. Maybe this is up north. Or along the uh, Canadian border. I don't know. A minute left, I'm not getting much here. Hmm. Oh, we do have a town. Let's see if I recognize it. Derby Center. Yeah, this is up north. Here is Newport. There's Derby. So maybe we're on like Lake Salem. Let's see. We're going to get into town a bit here. This part of the state, I don't go too much. I mean, you've got. You want something that's really. um untouched by power, electricity, indoor plumbing at some points. It's this region of Vermont up here called the Northeast Kingdom. It's a lot of unincorporated um, regions, sections, whatever you want to call it. But I think we're on Lake Salem. I'm going to hit home and maybe see if I can't find a road to kind of center myself here. What's this road called? Bushy Hill. Bushy Hill. Okay, yeah, we're like maybe there. Let's hit home. How far away? 
a bit of a turn. So maybe there. Even less points. I got a bridge. Anyway. The state itself. It's got a pretty interesting. I mean, oh yeah, Ben and Jerry's, that's another thing we're known for. Um, let's go for uh the vast well, thirty seven percent of people in the state of Vermont do not associate themselves with any religion. We are the second whitest state in the country, right behind Maine, with apparently 92%. We're also a refugee city, uh, country. Oh, geez, that went by fast. Man, I want to do more. But that's not in the spirit of the game. And there's, like, so much I wanted to get to, and even more that I've forgotten that I'm going to be a little upset with myself later with. But this is the tiny little state. Good old Vermont. <clears throat> Stretching, sorry. That's this state done. You're going to see a, I guess, less enthused person do the next state. There aren't many left. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us here. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, hints, tri tips, tricks, anything else I can't say because my mouth doesn't work, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the week. It's pretty much going to be the same as, uh, last couple of weeks with GeoGuessr, another cooking thing tomorrow, uh, more Magic the Gathering. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I always read and respond. Thank you for your time, folks. I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.